Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Well, well, we did it today's a special episode. It's episode 800. Can you believe it? I made 800 of these things. Were you guys, were you guys waiting? You know, it's been almost a week since I made my last podcast. You know, we, I bet you were waiting. You were like, oh my God, last podcast was, was episode 799. Where's episode 800? Oh my God, it's going to be a big extravaganza party. We'll do a book party. 800 episode. Oh my God. Anyway, that's today. It's 800 episodes. You know, I just want to, uh, just want to say thanks to uh, to all the old cuties and all the new cuties for listening. You know, never never thought I'd make 800 of these when I first started. Uh, I don't know when was that three almost four years ago I guess. You know, I was just kind of I was just kind of figuring, hey, maybe I could maybe I could do this. I could do I could do a podcast. Joe Rogan can do it, and he's a fucking Neanderthal. He's probably the dumbest person alive, and he's got the most successful podcast in the world. I'm at least as as intelligent as him. Not nearly as successful, but. Maybe maybe one day, maybe what Joe Rogan put me on your show. Anyway, uh, just want to say thanks to everybody. Thanks for listening. If you've been listening from the beginning, you know, from episode one all the way to episode eight hundred, you know, that's uh, that's a lot of episodes you've been listening to, man. Holy shit, there, you know, you you uh, you've been listening to my voice for quite a while, there, you know, huh, huh, a little bit here, you know. So anyway, uh, got a special treat for you guys today. Special treat for the ep- for the episode eight hundred. I got special guests. My special guest today is Maria. Uh, of course, that's not that's not actually her real name. Uh, Maria is Japanese. You know, she she likes to study English, of course, as most Japanese people like to do. And uh, and in order to study English, she likes to read erotic fiction. You know, erotic love stories, little little sexy stories. You know, like you ever go to the, remember? I used to go to the supermarket when I was a little kid. You know, and uh, there'd be like the book section there. And I was I was remember passing by the romance novels and there's these big buff guys, like holding women on the cover. And I, and I didn't really I was like five years old and I was looking at that. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, these books are everywhere, man. Where's the goddamn video game magazine? You know, and uh, those video game magazines were five bucks back in the day. Holy shit! You know, anyway, uh, yeah, erotic fiction, romance novels. You know, she like that's how she likes to practice. And uh, you know, of course, in these now 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 she's doing them on the on the iPads there. You know. They got they got these digital, digital romantic novels, erotic novels, and uh, they're on the iPad. You know, and it's like a it's like a choose your own adventure novel. You know, on the iPad there, and uh, every time she plays these uh, dating games or whatever, which are pretty popular in Japan, I don't know if you know that the uh, the uh, dating simulators are uh, real popular here in Japan, especially for the women. You know, they like to go, they like to have little cute little dates with their imaginary boyfriends. You know, because uh, I guess all the all the Japanese men are chauvinists. You know. So they got to have the fantasy, fantasy Japanese man. Uh, so anyway, you know they got it's a big culture here. The, uh, the the dating dating simulator and uh, choose your own adventure erotic novel. And anyway, we're uh, Maria's uh, in the middle of uh, reading one right now. And uh, yeah, every time she plays one of these games, she makes her uh, her character name Maria. That's her that's her alter ego. And uh, yeah, right now she's reading one called uh, Testing Her Limits. And in this story, um, the title character Maria, she, uh, she, uh, she's a police officer, and she's sent to investigate this uh, this computer repairman for stealing cars. And uh, it turns out uh, he's into he's into BDSM, and he gets her to go to a BDSM club, and uh, he really wants to fuck her in the ass. And this this is pretty much the whole story. Is uh, is this woman? Uh, you know she. Uh, she gets involved with this guy. His name's Atlas, and he's obviously gay. He's, if you just look at his picture, he's, he's obviously a gay man. And all he ever talks about is having sex in her ass. He doesn't even want to touch the vagina. So uh, he's obviously gay, and he's got problems. Uh, you know, he should, he should just come out as gay and uh, try to fuck men in the ass. You know, I don't know why he's trying to always have se- sex with women in the ass. But, you know, he's also in a BDSM, and uh, that's what this story's about. And uh, so today, uh, we're going to have Maria read read some of that story for you. For your listening pleasure. Uh, Maria, are you ready? Not really, should I read this? Yeah, read, read the story. Read the story for the listeners. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone, enjoy. What, what does Atlas say? What would you say if I told you I'm taking your two feet to your... To your feet, to, feet to fuck your ass... In front of everyone. Now, what do you think? If Atlas fucks you in the ass in front of the club, would that break the rules? Mm, you have got to be 
kidding. Okay. Okay. He she ch she chose you have got to be kidding. That's one of the one of the choices there on this choose your own adventure novel. He chuckles. He chuckles. He chuckles. His blue eyes flashing with danger. I guess you'll have to take a chance and find out. He traps you up against the car door. His scent. His scent. So swirls. Swirls around you, around you, and you try to ignore the sexy way it makes you feel. What are we really doing? I was only half kidding. We are going to fit, and I'm using your ass. I'm using a ass. Yeah, he's gonna use your ass. Why? But I'll be in private. Private. Yeah, he won't. He won't fuck your ass in front of everyone. He'll do it in a private room. Oh my gosh. What if I don't want? That, then you can save word. But if I want to fuck my pussy for once, I know pussy. Then you can be a really good guard and hope for the best. Uh. Yeah, he only wants to fuck your ass. He doesn't want to fuck your pussy. Eh. Okay, he grabs your chin between his fingers and makes you meet his eye. If you are mine for the day, you let me use any hole I want to. I want to any hole, but Maria has only. You have three holes. Mouth. Mouth, pussy, three, ass. Ass. Okay. Butterflies takes off in your belly, and your knees nearly buckle. Why is it I want to be good when he said think like that? You feel exposed and vulnerable under Atlas's searching, searching gaze. His eyes flick. Briefly, briefly, briefly to your lips before meeting yours again. The desire there is enough to knock you off your feet. I ask you a question, Maria. Atlas, I'm yours today. Use my however you want. Oh, you have to pay seventeen jewels. I have thirteen okay. jewels. Yeah, pick no. that one. <laughs> Eight and seventeen jewels. Yeah. Okay. See, in this choose your choose your own adventure, if you want to have sexy time, you got to pay. You got to pay with the jewels, you know. And they give you some free jewels every day, but it, uh, you know, if you don't have enough jewels, you got to pay five bucks or whatever, so you can uh, read the erotic novel, you know. So anyway, we just uh, we just paid seventeen jewels to uh, go have sexy time with Atlas. Atlas smiles big. Sending a jolt of pleasure through 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 you. You can you can use my any hole you want. Good guard. <laughs> He's gonna use any hole. Yes. All right. Well, that's uh, that was Maria reading erotic fiction. Uh, she she's learned lots of new words uh, reading this book. She learned uh, pussy, cock, uh, dom, sub. What what else did you learn? Did you learn any new words? Today? No, from reading this book. Have you learned any new words? Cock. Cock. Dick. Dick. Pussy. Pussy. Cunt. Cunt. That's a good one. Maybe that's all. Yeah. What do you think of Atlas? Uh, he's dumb. He's a dumb. But do you think he's a good person? Uh, I'm not sure. Why does he always want to have sex in your ass? A thrust? Yeah. I don't know why. Do you think it's because he's gay? I don't know, but I'm not sure now. I'm pretty sure he's gay. You know. Anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.